Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. In this video, we will learn about fuzzification, specifically how to develop membership functions that describe fuzziness. This assignment process can be intuitive or it can be based on some algorithmic or logical operators. There are six general methods developed to assign membership values to fuzzy variables. Of these, we will learn about intuition and inference in this lecture. We will study about the rest of the methods that is rank ordering, genetic algorithms, inductive reasoning and neural networks in the coming videos. So let's start our lecture. First, let us see about the method of intuition. In this method, the membership functions are developed based on innate intelligence and understanding we have as humans. Intuition involves the knowledge of context and the concepts we have acquired through experiences. As an example, consider the membership functions for the fuzzy variable speed which we discussed in the lecture 1 of this playlist. The figure shows various shapes on the universe of speed as measured in the units of kilometer per hour. Here, every curve is a membership function corresponding to various fuzzy variables such as extremely slow, slow, fast, etc. Now, keep in mind that the meaning of these curves change according to context and the person developing them. For instance, if the speeds are referred to the range of speeds of car, we get one set of curves and if the speeds are referred to the range of speeds of airplane, we get another set of curves. So you have to understand that the precise shape of these curves are not so important in their utility. What really matters is the approximate placement of these curves in the universe of discourse, the number of partitions used and the overlapping nature of these curves. Okay. Now the next method for membership value assignment is inference. In this method, we use knowledge to perform deductive reasoning. To consider an example, let us try to develop membership values to identify different triangles. Let U be the universe of triangles and let A, B, C be the inner angles of the triangles in the order angle A greater than or equal to angle B greater than or equal to angle C greater than or equal to zero. So we have a universe U which has angles A, B and C where these forms the inner angles of a triangle. So we know A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree and also given that angle A should be greater than or equal to angle B should be greater than or equal to C greater than or equal to zero. So this is our universe. Now let us say we need to identify the triangles as five types approximate isosceles triangle I, approximate equilateral triangle E, approximate right triangle R, approximate isosceles and right triangle IR and other triangles T. Now using our knowledge about the geometry of triangles, we will make membership equations for each of these cases through trial and error. For approximate isosceles triangle, we can develop a membership function mu i of a b c equal to 1 minus minimum of a minus b comma b minus c the whole by 60 degree and this membership function is always valid as long as angle a is greater than or equal to angle b greater than or equal to angle c greater than or equal to zero also please note that this equation is not developed based on pure mathematics this is something created based on experience in geometry you can also try on your own to develop more accurate membership functions for describing isosceles triangles. Now let us check if this equation works. In a triangle, if angle A is equal to angle B, then the triangle is isosceles. So plugging it in here, we have mu i of angle A comma B comma C equal to 1 minus minimum of angle A minus angle B but we know angle B is equal to angle A so we can again write as angle A comma angle B minus angle C the whole by 60 degree. 
and this part is equal to 0. So we have 1 minus minimum of 0 and b minus c will be 0 by 60 degree which is equal to 1. So you can see that for a triangle whose two angles are equal its membership value is 1 in the set of approximate isosceles triangles. Similar is the case when angle B is equal to angle C. Next for approximate equilateral triangle E the membership function is mu E of angle A comma angle B comma angle C is equal to 1 minus angle A minus angle C by 180 degree. Again I would like to emphasize that this equation is arrived through trial and error. Okay. Coming to approximate right triangle R we have mu R of A comma B comma C equal to 1 minus absolute value of A minus 90 degree by 90 degree. Okay now two more types are left out approximate isosceles and right triangle and other triangles. For approximate isosceles and right triangle the membership function can be found by taking the logical intersection of approximate isosceles triangle and approximate right triangle that is IR is equal to I intersection R. Corresponding membership function is mu IR of A comma B comma C is equal to minimum of mu I and mu R. Similarly the set of all other triangles is the complement of union of isosceles triangle equilateral triangle and right triangle that is T is equal to complement of I union R union E. Therefore mu T is equal to 1 minus maximum of mu I mu R and mu E. To take an example related to this consider this triangle with inner angles 80 45 and 55 degrees. Let us check the membership value for this triangle for each of the fuzzy triangle types we defined. Also one of our conditions while developing these membership functions was angle A greater than or equal to angle B greater than or equal to angle C greater than or equal to 0. Therefore here angle A is 80 degree because this is the highest angle B is 55 degrees and angle C is 45 degrees. Now for approximate isosceles triangle we have mu i equal to 1 minus minimum of angle A minus angle B comma angle B minus angle C the whole by 60 degree which is equal to 1 minus 10 by 60 or 0.8 3, 3. Next for approximate equilateral triangle we have mu E equal to 1 minus angle A which is 80 minus angle C which is 45 degree by 180 degrees which is equal to 1 minus 35 by 180 degree which is equal to point 805. For approximate right triangle R we have mu R equal to 1 minus angle A which is 80 minus 90 degree and we are taking the absolute value of this calculation by 90 degree which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 9 or 0.888. Now for approximate isosceles and right triangle we have mu i r equal to minimum of mu i which is 0 0.833 0 0.833 comma mu r which is 0 0.888 0 0.888 which is equal to 0 0.833. Lastly we have the set of all other triangles for which mu t is equal to 1 minus maximum of mu i which is 0 0.833 0 0.833 mu r which is 0 0.888 0 
0.888 and mu e which is 0 0.805 0 0.805 which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.888 which is equal to 0 0.112 hence we can say that the given triangle has the highest membership value in the set of fuzzy right triangles this makes sense as 80 degrees is close to 90 degrees required to make a right triangle. However, it is also worth noting that the triangle has high membership in the fuzzy set of isosceles triangles also. This is due to the reason that 55 degree and 45 degree are very close values and make an almost isosceles triangle. Okay. That's all for this lecture. To summarize the video, we learned about two methods to assign membership values which are intuitive and inference method. We also saw an example of inference method. In the next video, we will learn about the method of rank ordering for membership value assignments. I hope that all the concepts taught in this lecture are clear to all of you.